Hi everybody, it's Laura Kingen. I'm finally here, it's 1.45, and there's trees, yay! <laughs> ah, okay, it's quite a day today, lots going on. Um, I wanted to talk today about uh, OT evaluation. Um, I figured before we go any farther, um, wanted to do a, a video um, that you could reference as far as what my process is for evaluation, for occupational therapy evaluation. So I want to go over like the activity portion today is actually going over some of the different um, assessments, booklets, uh, talk a little about the standardization process. Um, I want to correlate back to last week when I was talking about performance components. And I felt like I kind of left off a little weak about referencing the referral process. But, I mean, the bottom line is, as an occupational therapist, um, so much of what we do is evaluating performance components and then correlating it to an activity analysis for our treatment planning process. So the referral process basically is if, I mean, let me backtrack. I mean, what is occupational therapy? Um, occupation relates to activity. And so for anybody of any age, um, as an occupational therapist, I look at how well they're independently functioning. And so um, I go in and evaluate and look. But if there's a particular diagnosis, say Parkinson's or autism or schizophrenia, there are certain performance components that will correlate more to a particular diagnosis than others. And so um, I would be brought on part of that referral process to evaluate and look at those very specific performance components and how well that person is functioning. If those performance components are delayed of any kind, um, then maybe therapy is indicated. I mean, that's kind of it in a nutshell. It's really pretty simple. Um, but I want to get more specific and um, I'm kind of jumping ahead. I want to back step a little bit. Show you my business card. And go through the perceptual process of using a mirror. Uh -huh. So just so you know, probably at a very appropriate time to reference that my husband's in a band <laughs> called the Van De Vere Breaks. There's my big mouth. <laughs> the Van De Vere Breaks. Here's his drum kit. And there's my business card, Sensory Solutions, Inc. Um, I have some other videos. And what I'm trying to do is lay out for you um, kind of in a nutshell what I do for therapy and to be able to utilize these videos to reference back. Um, so I actually have, this is I think my 15th video now. Um, so in the course of um, working with me or seeing these videos, I am available for um, uh, direct therapy. Um, I'll reference you to Facebook at, um, at SSIFB. The business name is Sensory Solutions, Inc. So it's SSIFB for Facebook. Um, I did just start a new website, um, but it's really pretty basic. We'll see, you know, how much I want to go there. I mean, all this is a lot of work, so I got to kind of prioritize. But the business website is sensory-solutions-business. I'm sorry, sensory-solutions-inc.business.site, S-I-T-E. So there's information on there, but really I'm working off of my um, Facebook page. That's my main site, but I do have some other pages as well. Um, but if you go over to the SSI FB page, um, that'll at least uh, give you a lot of information. Um, I'm available for telehealth as well as clinical uh, therapy, although the clinical, it, you know, it's been really tough with the safety. And um, I can do OT evaluations. I can do OT treatment. Um, I'm actually happy to announce that I am actually now working with a music teacher. Um, so for those of you who um, have somebody that might benefit from therapy but has an aptitude um, or you might feel like they could benefit from music, I am formally announcing now 
that that is something that we can offer. Um, it's actually the guitar player of my husband's band, the Vanderveer Breaks. Um, I guess it's appropriate to share. His name is Eric Carafino. He's on Facebook. He might even be the one watching right now. His last name is spelled C-A-R-O-F-F-I-N-O. -F -F Let me know if you're interested in therapy, evaluation therapy. Um, there's some other things I'm doing. There's range of motion clinics on, on um, Thursdays at one o'clock, group setting, educationally based, but to work on flexibility. Um, and then on Wednesday afternoons, um, I may talk about this more in these videos to explain what I'm trying to do, um, but to make group therapy sessions um, available in a more affordable manner, um, where say three plus individuals, families can come together, work together with me, and uh, we can do Q&A, we can run through a basic activity. Um, I'm, uh, there's no uh, initial OT evaluation um, involved in that particular group. I'm gonna make it more Q&A and educationally based, so that way we can kind of circumvent the whole evaluation therapy process and make it just more educationally based. Um, also, um, my husband and I are working on offering um, slot cars and model trains. Um, he's working on some, some uh, different layouts uh, to make available. Um, if you go to uh, Facebook at Slot Car Trains, it's a whole page I have designated to this particular craft, uh, sorry, hobby. And the reason why um, I wanna offer that is, again, referencing back to performance components and picking activities that can incorporate a variety of different performance components. Um, uh, that this particular hobby incorporates so many different things. People of so many different ages and um, disabilities, or functioning, I guess I should say, um, can do this particular hobby. So uh, in, we, in January at the clinic, we had started doing slot car Saturdays with trains where you could come to us. We have a lar the, the large clinic room um, with different layouts that you can come and play. And it's, it's great for, for uh, family activities. But that really didn't happen because of the, we're in the age of COVID. So it's like, what if we bring the track to you? And that could be done safely. We can instruct you. Um, I think really what I'm looking at is we can bring the track to you guys. Um, but if you would like some therapeutic guidance with that, we can do that as well. So that's what we're looking at. That's uh, on the deck for Sensory Solutions, Inc. Um, I'm trying to think of other business things like I've alluded to before. At the beginning of my videos, I always like to cover business. And then the, and I always like to do this little thing with the hand gesture, is that we kind of build, talk business as we build, and then do some activities or some kind of presentation to illustrate the concepts. And then at the end, do a calming, um, self-regulation kind of activity because I think you know especially now um, there's a lot of anxiety a lot of stress a lot of depression there's a lot of mental health issues going on and how do we address that um, and and the big term is self-regulation how do we self-regulate ourselves and even just from my own sta standpoint it's an ongoing process of how uh, we can monitor ourselves, or not monitor so much, but regulate our, our stuff. And I know meditation is kind of out there for some people, but even just doing some calming kinds of things. Um, so in my sessions, I always like to do something at the end. So I have something in store for you guys today that will be a little different. Um, so I think that's kind of it as far as the business. Um, you can always PM me. My cell phone is area code 631-848-8852. Um, I think that's it. Okay. So let me reference back to performance components and we'll go from there. Um, I uh, had referenced a slide presentation from Bangladesh from a, oops, from a um, OT program. 
today it's a different presentation and I know this is going to be reversed I'm not I wasn't going to mess around with the mirror today but I want to show you let's see if I can do this there we go occupational therapy performance components so I know it's backwards but if you get a mirror um, you can pause the screen and you can read that matter of fact I'm going to hold this up so you have a sense of where we're going. 